Hello everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korazak. Welcome to part one of the Platinum Walkthrough for Dark Cloud 2. So, let's get right on into it. Uh, so what do we want Max to wear? I like the red, the kind of red outfit for him since I don't have access to the Explorer's one right off the bat. So let's go with this. So this series has been a long time coming, and I'm really looking forward to it. This is what you call mood setting. <laughs> what? Those monsters are in my father's room? Okay, so we're just going to skip that because basically to attack you just hit the X button, you use R1 to lock on to an enemy, and then uh, to use your off weapon you can hold down L1 and press X to use it. With Monica's armband you kind of let this thing charge up and it does more damage, you see? Like that first one where I let it charge fully did 17 and then when I just kind of throw it out it does 11. You can also kind of stop the animation of your attacks by hitting R1 to guard the exact second it hits. This can make uh, attacking a little bit faster. It's something you'll see me do a lot throughout the playthrough. He is a bad dude. Dear mother, how are you? I'm doing fine. So much has happened that I don't know where to start. Well, I guess it's easiest to start at the beginning. It all began that night. Right, that night of the storm. <sighs> Some circus troop. Oh, good for you. Your dad's not gonna try to stop you? He said I could go. Well, you'd better finish your work quick then, huh? Right. Hey, Max, what's that you got there? What's this? Father gave it to me yesterday. I always wear it, he said. It's pretty old. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Well, can I get started? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Gable's vacuum is set up below. Go to it, lad. Leave it to me.
Alrighty. So there's a couple things to do in this first room, other than save. This save point will actually move a little bit later. So this is kind of the, uh... It's only here for this first time. So... Yeah, there's just two things to pick up here. So make sure you grab this book on the table. And you grab the uh, wrench in that cupboard right there. And there's nothing you can do there for now. So let's just go back over here. Okay, time to start fixing it. Okay, here we go. Ah, this is the Anbar Type 2 here. This is a pretty specialized hose attachment. Oh, I see the problem. Everybody ready? Let's have a stupendous show tonight! Let's make this a night of wonder! All right, all. Let's get to work! You could certainly call it that. Falling asleep on the job. Huh? Oh no! It's about to start! Oh, why the heck didn't it go off? Huh? He's gone? We just go up to the clown and give him our ticket. Here you go. Hey, my ticket. Oh, I can't believe it. Of all the. So we just need to talk to three people. Did you see a little red-headed kid come this way? Nope. See anything? He headed towards City Hall. You can't talk to people from behind in this game. It's rude to speak to someone from behind. Well, I shouldn't say in this game because literally every time after this opening prologue you can just talk to people from wherever. I saw him heading that way. You don't have to talk to this person over here, but you can. Well, you can talk to everybody if you wanted to. You can really see the moon from here. You can press R2 and go on to first person and just kind of check things out. I've seen better looking PS2 games, but I just... I still really like this game. Hey, hey, did you see a red haired boy? Mm -hmm. No, sorry. I see. Huh?
gotcha! Hand over the ticket! I'm sorry. I just wanted to see the circus. Just once. You really want to see the circus, huh? Hmm. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never do it again. All right. Here you go. Huh? Come on, it's yours. Really? Yep. I'll go see you next time. Wow, thanks! Really? You'd better go now. It's about to start. Okay, see ya! be able to do it. Hurry! The first door is waiting for you. How ominous. What is going on? <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, it looks like we're gonna see the circus anyway. <laughs> Sometimes being nice will pay off, I guess. Alright, oh, hit the uh, wrong button. I actually really like the cutscenes over the next five minutes. They're really enjoyable. They're kind of funny. <laughs> hey, this is no good. I can't see anything. I know how you feel. It's like uh, going to a concert and not being the tallest person there. <laughs> wow. Boom. <laughs> I wonder if it's actually possible for elephants to do that. I don't imagine it would be, but it's still kind of cool to see. Not a lot of people even could do like a full flip like that. That's like really hard stuff to do. Chestnuts are the best! Hey. 
Is that the mayor? So, have you found it? Well, not yet. You see... Now, Mayor, are you really trying hard enough? You know what happens if you don't find the stone, <laughs> don't you? Oh, wait, please, I'm trying my best to find it. Please, I need more time. Ah, oh, well, what can you do? But remember, this chance is your last! Are you sure that the stone is in this town? <laughs> oh, I can smell it. I can smell it! The stone is in this town! Absolutely! But we've turned the mine inside out looking for it. We couldn't find a trace. <laughs> oh, sweet mayor. We've been through this. I've told you before. I don't tolerate excuses! <laughs> ah, but the people in this town really are living the sweet life, huh? Not knowing anything of the outside world, they're lost in their carefree lives. <laughs> With such a pack of ninnies, no wonder they can't find a single stone. <laughs> You can't tell anyone about the outside. There'd be a panic. Then no one would be able to look for your stone. Oh, I know, Mayor Pooh. We'll keep it our little secret. <laughs> Max, run, hurry! I don't know what he would expect from a can. It might slightly Watch hurt, fools. but it would knock the guy out or anything. Not from that height. Did you see it? The red stone around that boy's neck! We found it at last! <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get him! I like this next cutscene. <laughs> the one that just happened really sets the mood. This next one's just kind of funny. <laughs> it is really amazing, like, uh, how much the, uh, music will set the mood for some, for some things a certain way. Like, if this music was playing for that last cutscene, it wouldn't have been as serious. Now it's a little bit more lighthearted. That's not good. There's a lot of people there. The town is certainly much smaller than that though.
Wrench became the battle wrench. All right, I guess this will have to do. Shall we begin then? now hand over the pendant boy hand it over now and I'll let you leave here alive pendant you want this don't do it huh well what's it gonna be you can't give it to him it's too important hand it over <laughs> now no! I won't! Well, if it's going to be that way, then die! Now, boy! You idiot! He's behind you! Quickly, after him! Max! This way! I was so scared then, but in a way it was really fun. I mean, every boring day had been just the same for me. But this, this was the beginning of a real adventure. I'll take my chances.
Really like that song. <laughs> Underground water channel. Underground water channel. So this goes outside of the town, right? Hmm? Yeah, I guess. Exactly. Hey, Max, what are you cooking up? Something's going on in the outside world. What? That flotsam guy is threatening the mayor. What? Why? I'm not sure myself, but Flotsam said it. The whole town's living a carefree life, not knowing what's going on outside. What does that mean? Don't know. But after Blackstone Railroad went out of service, no one's left town. And it's not that they don't leave. They can't leave. The reason why the mayor doesn't open the gate must be so that people don't see the outside world. Yeah. I guess you're right. I'm going. Huh? Going? Where? You're not thinking of... Uh-huh. I'm leaving this town. Oh, hold on there. Seriously? But there's all kinds of weird creatures in the channel. I'll be fine. I usually use this to fix things, but it makes a pretty good weapon, too. <laughs> no use trying to stop you now. Hold on a sec. can keep in touch while you're in the channel. If you get lost, just give me a buzz. Gotcha. Watch yourself, Max. Yep. Donnie, I need you to keep an eye out for those guys here. No problem. Whatever you say. Huh? Hey, why do I have to stand watch? Max? Sorry, Donnie, but I want to see the outside world with my own eyes. Chapter 1. To the Outside World. Alright everyone, so we are going to leave it here for this episode, so I will see you in the next one, where we start out with all the basics and everything that you need to know. 
So hope you have a good day and we'll see you then. Bye.